Good morning, gardening friends. Actually, it's afternoon now that I think of it. Uh, not a lot has happened this week, uh, so this episode is probably going to be a bit short, but I wanted to show you a couple of the things that have happened. And I got one more little project I'm going to finish up today. Uh, first, I'll point out that there's a sign now in the garden saying that it is safe for pets. Although I just realized that after I printed it all up and put it together that I forgot to put in the uh, orchid tree as one of them. Um, another thing that has developed is I've got a couple of little sprouts, so let me show you those. First, we have uh, one of the marigolds that has popped. It popped actually on uh, about two days ago. It is now Saturday. And second, we have one of the coleus that has popped. And I think I forgot to mention that the coleus, uh, actually my neighbor just pointed that out to me. I keep looking in the garden to see when these things are going to pop up, and I literally just found out a few minutes ago, right before I started recording all this. So I'm happy to see the coleus come up. Also, that was one that was planted last weekend, so it's only been six, seven days since I planted it. Uh, so that makes me really happy to see that pop up. Now let's talk about the next thing. I've got one more little project I want to do this week. I've, if you may recognize this white planter. I've had this for a while sitting in a garden and then I decided, okay, I knew what I wanted to do with it, but I was waiting for the soil to dry out a little bit and it just wasn't drying out. So I've emptied the soil out and I'm going to have to figure out how to refill it and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I've elected to go ahead and use the previous supply of soil that I had because trying to mix soil with vermiculite and uh, coffee grounds, which is my, I'm using my standard recipe here that, that I'm using for this year, um, but trying to mix with wet soil is really hard to do to try and get it evenly distributed. If it's dry, it's easier to mix. So I'll just go ahead and put the wet soil away and let that dry out um, but that's how I'm getting started with this the plan here is uh, I've got that one uh, purple orchid tree out there and I wanted to try and grow more because that one's actually damaged and being held up so I'd rather have one that would grow a little bit better maybe it doesn't get damaged I don't know the thing is trying to grow one seed you don't this it's kind of hit or miss you don't know if you're going to succeed or not what I'm going to attempt to do is actually plant four seeds let me show you how now I've got four cups sitting in there and the plan is I'm going to cut out most of the bottom of each cup so if roots do develop they have a chance to get down into the soil below but hopefully what I'll be able to do is pull them out extract extract them carefully by using the cups as a form to pull them out uh, once they've actually sprouted and then I'll be able to put them in individual pots but for now I can put them all in one smaller space and give them all a chance to grow. The thing with the purple orchid tree is that the root system can be quite sensitive so I need to be really careful about how I transplant it. So that's why I'm doing these four in the cups. The cups will help protect during transplant and it'll also give me a chance to try and grow four seeds at once at once which increases my chances of getting germination well no that was an interesting experience I tried using drill bits that I happen to have if you want to try this you could probably do it with just uh, a good sharp exacto knife or uh, utility knife something uh, I was originally going to try and cut out a giant circle but that wasn't working and these cups because mainly because these cups are really flimsy but I ended up deciding to use the drill bits and I don't know how well that's gonna come through you can see I got a quarter inch hole in the center and some eighth inch holes around the sides I just don't know if that's coming through but uh, what I'd recommend is if you do it do it with a, holding at the cup this way and kinda of going in from the inside because if you try and go from the other side what ends up happening is the whole cup wants to collapse while you're doing it. So that's that. Now let me put the rest of it together. Okay, so now I've got all four of these. Uh, they're kind of in there a little bit loosely right now because there's not soil around the cups to try and support them. Um, if 
you have if you kind of missed the point I, I what I was doing with putting the holes in the bottom is making sure that these cups actually drain otherwise they just became become vessels that will hold the soil and all the moisture you do want anything you're planting generally you want it to be able to drain so that was the point of that and the bottom of this entire pot will actually drain too so all I got to do once I get this outside is just to sprinkle it with water like I do all the other plants now those four are sitting in there kind of loose I've put seeds in I put two of them sitting down flat and then two of them stood up on end I don't know if it's going to have any effect but I wanted to do that just so I'd have some difference so if two of them fail because they're laying flat then the others might have a better chance we'll see now basically I'm gonna to top off the whole thing uh, right to the tops of the cups and uh, put it outside and give it some water and we'll see what happens okay that's all done now for a couple of little confessions uh, number one uh, my recipe where I said it was one part old soil or uh, you know potting soil that I kind of had around one part vermiculite and one part coffee grounds actually I'm doing half on the coffee grounds because most of the soil that I'm using I had already done experiments last year which was 50 percent soil and 50 percent coffee grounds so it's somewhere along the lines now of two parts soil, two parts vermiculite, and one part coffee grounds. The second confession is that I ran out of coffee grounds from my original supply. I was building up another supply, so I had to dip into that. So those coffee grounds have not had as much time to break down. Um, but realistically, I don't think it's going to cause a problem because those coffee grounds went around the cups the stuff that's in the cups is the original formula and where the coffee grounds are broken down a little bit more so I don't think it's going to be a big problem and it'll have time to break down while the sprouts come up so that takes care of inside and now I have it outside so complete with the label and I need to correct the sign uh, and I need to give the the new plant some water. Uh, there is supposed to be a little bit of rain today I don't know if that's gonna materialize. It looks pretty sunny right now earlier I saw a few little raindrops, so I'm not too worried uh, Although they were saying it was a much better chance today. Hey, that's weather forecasting for you. It's an imperfect science But that pretty much wraps it up for the week So this is the budget gardener signing off saying may your thumb be green Oops, I almost forgot to tell you. I planted some alyssum in between the pavers, so hopefully that will make it a little bit softer. So we'll watch and see what happens with that.